Hello, my name's Jamie Sale. I'm a freelance cartoonist from Essex, and I'm going to be teaching you how to draw cartoons. This is how you draw Quagmire from Family Guy. Right, there are two parts to his head shape. Got the upper part of his head there and the lower part of his head here, which you just draw using circles for now. Between these circles, he's got a tiny little ear there. So I'm going to put that in now. Okay, and then with these circles here, uh, we're drawing his eye here first of all, which is just a circle, and then another eye here. Uh, this basically bulges out of his head slightly, As he's smiling, uh, we'll put that expression in his eyes here by sort of cutting them off at the bottom and his eyes are slightly squinted as well. So we need to put in his eyelids at the bottom and the top. And then we'll put in his pupils here, which uh, you don't see them fully, but they come out from the bottom of his bottom eyelid there. And if we draw his head now, where this line is, line of the uh, circles, you don't want to follow that round just yet because we're going to draw the bottom part of his hair which comes up like this, that's part of his um, part in there. Comes around down to his sideburns and that's when we go on the outside of it. Cheeky eyebrows as well. Now, for his mouth, this can be quite tricky because he's got a very um, distinct shape cheek. Uh, this cheek basically comes out quite far from his head, um, and you need to use the the circle as a bit of a guideline here. And it's sort of shaped like this. It's not totally round, it just sort of comes around uh, a smooth sort of angle. And the same for this side, although it doesn't stick out as much. He's got a dimple in his chin there. And if we're doing his mouth, it's going to be smiling and open. So we'll start with his top lip, which comes around here like this, right to his nose. And it comes all the way around here for his bottom lip. And these are his teeth. Whereas the inside of his mouth finishes there, but that's okay, this can come out a little bit. And you just see a portion of his tongue. Now his bottom of his um, chin here actually needs to come in a little bit. So I slightly misjudged that. And then uh, go over it in uh, with pencil a little bit harder. And once you've penciled it in, you can then go over the black bits and shade them in, in which case with Quagmire that's going to be his, uh, the inside of his mouth and his hair. It's best when shading to keep the angle consistent as it makes it look a lot neater. And that is how you draw Quagmire. <laughs>